Oh yes indeed, Mark's Comic Hall. Yeah. So I've been putting this off for a while and uh, the reason I've been putting it off is because I wasn't really sure how I was going to shoot it because it's just so much stuff. Uh, I mentioned this uh, on a previous couple of haul videos. Uh, this is probably the biggest haul I've ever got in terms of bargain books. Um, and I'm about to go through at least the first half of it. So it's going to probably be a long video and it's going to be broken up into two parts. So this will be part one of two. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Mark Walters. I do a thing called Mark's Comic Haul, y'all, where I show you some of the books that I've picked up. Usually it's like newer stuff, new this week, that type of stuff. But I do get a lot of back issues too. So this was pretty incredible. Uh, so this is my buddy Ron over at Collected in Fort Worth. Uh, he's been around for a long time. He's had multiple comic stores through the years and they did a big sidewalk sale About a month ago. I think it was I can't believe it's been that long already, but um, what they did was they had all these boxes of comics and They if like if you bought one comic it was a dollar if you bought I think it was 25 comics it was 50 cents a piece like 25 to 50 and then if you bought over 50, it was 25 cents a piece. So 50 cents a piece and then 25 cents a piece. So all of these that you're about to see, I got for a quarter a piece. Keep that in mind because there's some really cool stuff in here. So, and what it was is, uh, these are short boxes as you can see by the lids. Uh, I've got six short boxes and a half box, basically a diamond box that is pretty full. Uh, so it's like six and a half short boxes basically is what it comes out to. Most of these are not bagged and boarded so I'm gonna have to try to handle them carefully. There's a couple on top here and the reason that they are separated is because I was just gonna put them in like, you know, for example, this is an Alex Ross uh, Avengers, um, what is this, Marvel's 25th anniversary. Um, so I was just going to put this in my Alex Ross box. So some of these I had pulled out for various reasons. So I'll show you these first and then I'll get to, I've kind of organized the rest of them. So yeah, really cool Alex Ross cover. Uh, this is Ultimates 2, number one, the Brian Hitch sketch variant cover. Pretty cool. Infinity Gauntlet, number five. This is the Secret Wars crossover. I just got it because it's this cool Riri Williams Iron Man armor cover. Forgive the bags under my eyes. I haven't gotten very much sleep. Anyway, I got two of those. Um, Captain Marvel number 22. Some of the stuff that was in here was pretty recent. I guess they pulled it from their store stock. Infinity Countdown number one. This is the variant cover featuring Jane Foster Thor. Some of these were in bags and boards, so but most of them were not. Infinity Countdown number one. This is the uh, Art Germ variant. Um, and these are all pretty much mint condition. Uh, Thunderbolts number 110. This is a can't see what that says. I think it's a second printing variant. Anyway, really cool cover. Can you guys make that out? What does that say? Does that look like it says second printing variant? It's hard to see in the light. I'm in my bedroom and the light's like really low in here, so I apologize. Hopefully the books are showing up okay. Thunderbolts Breaking Point number one, one shot. Um, it's just a Thunderbolts book I did not have. And this is actually drawn by my buddy Brian Denham. I didn't know he had he had done this. Here's a book that's always worth picking up, especially if you can get it for a quarter. Ultimates number one. First appearance of the Ultimates, I believe, right? First full appearance, maybe? Um, got two copies of that. So... <laughs> wow, this is so much stuff, guys. It's ridiculous. I got several of these. This is the Harbinger trade paperback, which comes polybagged with Harbinger, what is that, Zero? Harbinger Zero? Yeah, Harbinger Zero from 1992. And these are all perfect. So, and 
like I, I literally, I'm not joking when I say I got tons of them. They had, they had a long box full of those. I just picked out some really nice ones. This is a uh, Shadow Man trade paperback from Valiant, and it comes with Dark Passages number one comic polybagged with it. Uh, this is Exo Man of War Retribution trade paperback, and it comes polybag with Exo uh, Database number one. And then this is uh, Valiant Era Collection trade paperback, and it comes polybagged with Eternal Warrior, the Valiant Era Companion featuring Eternal Warrior number one <laughs> dark hawk number 25 i have a feeling i'm going to be sending out some random acts of kindness here pretty soon some of these are, are like books i got multiples of just because like for example this is supergirl and team luther featuring a cover by my buddy carrie gamble and this is one of those big thick deluxe books so it's kind of hard to find this when it's not beat up and uh, oh and they also had a sale on trade paperbacks I bought one and it was a hardcover you hear that plane going overhead I live next to Love Field Airport you hear that in my bedroom but you don't hear that in my den it's kind of funny how that works uh, okay this is the incredible Herb Trimpey Herb Trimpey was a good buddy of mine. Um, as most of you know, Herb Trimpey drew The Incredible Hulk. He had a very lengthy run on The Incredible Hulk. And uh, Herb often credited me for, as he put it, bringing him out of retirement because he, would, he had pretty much left comics and wasn't really going to do anything more with comics. And I called him at home and talked him into coming to one of my conventions and he thought nobody would want to meet him and anyway long story short he had a great time and basically kind of i guess you could say he came out of retirement because he started doing new comic work again and going to more conventions and whatnot so i guess it is uh an honest thing for him to say i brought him out of retirement so I'm honored if, if I did. Okay, so box number one. Now, I have separated these. Uh, everything you're going to see in this video is Marvel, with the exception of the Valiant stuff I just showed you, and that was just because those were trades. So everything I'm about to show you is Marvel. So three boxes of Marvel Comics, and I'll try to get through these as quickly as I can. These I picked up because I just thought they were cool. These are... Uh, I'm assuming either, I don't know if it's like, it's not German. I'm not sure what language this is. I need, I should look it up. I should have looked this up before I did this video. But does anybody recognize the language? These are Spider-Man comics, foreign Spider-Man comics. And I'll give you a quick little preview of what's in here. So you got this, you got this. I just don't recognize the language. It almost looks like it could be maybe like Russian or Czechoslovakian or something like that, or um, like Sterkastur. Look at that fool killer. We'll always love that cover. Anyway, I just think these are cool because they're, you know, foreign uh, Spider Man comics. That's a great one. These are a little bit smaller than normal comic books. Not quite as tall. A couple of Cloak and Dagger issues there. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, so, yeah, those were cool. Happy to get those. Um, but I don't know what language that is. I need to look it up. Uh, and those were just all together in a stack. Uh... So this I thought was kind of interesting. So I have X-Men number one, and I have X-Men number four from the Chris Claremont, Jim Lee run. Um, but I was actually missing a lot of the other ones. And it just so happened that they had X-Men number two. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I have several copies of number one. So I was kind of happy to get my hands on bulk copies of number two, number three. For some reason, these number threes are kind of yellowed at the top. You see that? I think that's just a paper issue. They don't smell like smoke or anything. I think it's just because it's a white background and it's old paper. X-Men number five. Always love that cover. And I'm not pulling out, I've got some of these I got multiples of, but I'm not pulling out all of them because it would just be too awkward. X-Men number six, like that cover too. X-Men number seven, always like that cover as well. Wolverine and Omega Red. That one I didn't get as many as I should have. X-Men number eight. X-Men number... For some reason I didn't get enough number sevens. I only got like a couple of those. Number nine, Fighting Ghost Rider. Uh, I have a bunch of that one for some reason. And then X-Men number 10 featuring the return of Longshot. And I got a bunch of those too. I screwed up on the number sevens. I should have got more of those. I don't know why I didn't. Um... Always happy to get these. Hawkeye. Just kind of random issues of Hawkeye. This is number five. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I just picked up a number five somewhere else, too. Number. Why are these not in order? I think these are from two different series. Hawkeye number three. Is that what's going on? Two different series? Yeah, it is. It's two different series. So that was number five from, I think, the first series. Number four, I guess this is the second series. Or maybe I have it backwards. I don't know. Number five. Number six. Oh, sorry. Number six. Or oh, wait a minute. That's number eight. Number nine. Number nine. Number 11. Yeah, I guess there were some gaps in here. Number 12. I have two number 12s for some reason. Number 14. I have two of these for some reason. There's the second one. Number 15. Cool cover. Uh, Old Man Logan number three. I picked this up because it had a Kate Bishop Hawkeye cover. Thought it was kind of cool. Got a couple copies of that. Okay, so those are all the Hawkeyes. Kept those all together. Uh, what do we got next here? Alright. Happy to get this. Very happy to get this. Guardians of the Galaxy number six. First appearance of Angela from Spawn in Marvel Continuity. That's kind of a hot book right now. And I got three of them. Um, just to give you an idea, I got there late. Some of the stuff that they sold, somebody bought like eight copies of Kanan number one. Uh, the one that I think really... When he told me about it, I almost wanted to cry because I've been looking for this book forever. Someone got their hands on like a dozen copies of Thrawn number one, Star Wars Thrawn number one, which is a super hot book, and they bought them for a quarter apiece. I actually told Ron when I saw there was a couple of books that were in there that I was like, I know these shouldn't be in there, and I pulled them out because I just was like, dude you can't sell these for a quarter um i'm that guy that will do that but occasionally i'll get some stuff that i think is hot and i will ask him and he's been really cool sometimes he'll say go ahead and take it uh angela number one asgard's assassin number one uh got a couple of those this was kind of cool house of m 
uh, number one and number two. I got number one and number two, and I actually needed a number one because the number one that I had was kind of beat up. This is Secrets of the House of M. I don't think I had that. House of M number one variant cover by, who did this? I'm not sure who the artist is. It's an interesting cover though. I'm realizing now as I'm shooting this, my lighting is kind of poor, so I apologize. I, I'm doing this on my bed in my bedroom because it's just so much stuff. I just don't know what how else to do it. Uh, okay, so now I went a little bit crazy here. I actually held back because they had a ton of this stuff. But Contest of Champions, number one. This is the, what is it, the John Tyler Christopher action figure variant or design variant or whatever you want to call it. Maestro. The Unworthy Thor, number one. Um, the Avengers, number one, featuring Vision. Occupy Avengers, number one, featuring Hawkeye. Okay, we're getting into Iron Man. Iron Man number one from the Heroes Return series. This is kind of a cool book to have right about now. Uh, or wait, this isn't what I'm... Maybe No, maybe it, maybe it is what... I don't know. No, I didn't have it. Invincible Iron Man number six. The War Machines storyline starts now. Iron Man number 400. Alright, give me a second. Books are getting kind of bunched up here. Let me see if I can grab a big stack. Okay. Iron Man number 50, or depending on whether or not you follow legacy numbering 395. Invincible Iron Man number one. This is kind of a newer series, and as you can see, I got several of those. Oh, God. Wow, there is just no easy way to do this. <laughs> Captain America, uh, White, Tim Sale. Did he ever finish this series? I can't remember if he did or not. Got a couple of those. Jessica Jones, number one. Got a couple of those. Okay, I thought this was the box that had... Yeah, this is the box that has the... So they had tons, tons of these action figure variants for Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars. Wolverine... Got two of those. Black Spider-Man. Miles Morales. Got two of those. Captain Marvel. And then I have a whole bunch of these Amazing Spider-Man number ones, oversized edition. Alex Ross cover. Got a whole bunch of those. Some of these I'm going to use for my convention coming up because we do uh, like VIP bags and we'll put comics in the VIP bags. And you know, hey, it's nice to be able to give people a deluxe format oversized comic book, especially when I don't have to spend a ton of money on it. All right, give me a second. Let me move that box there. <sighs> okay, well, short box number two. Uh, technically I've gone through one and a half boxes and we're at 20 minutes so I'm gonna try to do this quickly if I can guys I I know this is gonna be a long video okay we got Alpha Flight number five Alpha Flight number six I always love that white cover 
And this is just a perfect copy. Forgive the bag, but man, there was nothing wrong with that. Uh, Alpha Flight Annual, number one. Oddly enough, I did not have this. I'm trying to kind of build back up. I used to have like a full run of Alpha Flight. And I guess somewhere along the line, I either sold them or traded them. Because now I can't find hardly any. But I know at one point I did have a lot. Okay. <laughs> Having to make some space in this box. Because I'm these boxes are like packed tight. Alright, Avengers number one from the new current run. Uh, Avengers number one point MU. This, oh, this is a, look at this. See, like some of these came from the store stock. That's a $30 variant. For 25 cents. <laughs> Goom. This is Avengers number 44 variant cover. I think this was not long after Sam Wilson became Captain America. New Avengers one shot, most wanted files. I believe this reprints. What is it? New Avengers number one, I think. Dave Finch artwork. I love this cover though. New Avengers number one Illuminati. Cool cover. Avengers number 31 variant cover by Adam Kubert. Is that Adam Kubert? No, that's not Adam Kubert. Who is this? I don't know. I can't read it. I can't read it. That's the name. I don't know who that is. Anyway, variant. Avengers number one, the Deadpool. <laughs> this is another, uh, like, store. I guess it was in their store stock variant. Avengers number... I'm guessing this is Avengers number one. This is the Aaron Cooter uh, Young Guns variant. I really like this cover. Avengers, this is number 23, and uh, it's got kind of that classic Marvel portrait cover going for it with She-Hulk, my girl She-Hulk. I love She-Hulk, and not just because her name is Jennifer Walters. Anyway, I got two of those. Um, Avengers number five, get out Ms. Marvel, you are no longer an Avenger. Alex Ross cover. Avengers number six, oh man, you gotta love this. Alex Ross doing a tribute to that classic Vision cover. New Avengers number 14, Frank Cho, cover and interior art. New Avengers number 15, also Frank Cho, cover and interior art. Okay, give me a second. Got to put these. Ah, jeez. Gotta put these aside. Okay. Get a new batch out here. <laughs> jeez. Uh, West Coast Avengers number 21. I picked this up because it's Moon Knight. And this is a really nice copy. Like, a uh, nice black cover. And you got Hank Pym and Moon Knight there on the cover. West Coast Avengers number 25. Wonder Man versus the Abomination. This is a nice cover, which I had not seen before. Black Widow, number 18, from the Marvel Now series variant. Uh, 
this is another Young Guns variant, Mike Del Mundo for Black Widow. Kind of a cool cover there. And that is for issue number one, Infinity Countdown Black Widow is the title of that book. I had to get this. I couldn't not get this. <laughs> Captain America and the Falcon book and record set. And yes, uh, oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. There is no record. Oh, well, I didn't care. For a quarter, I wasn't going to pass it up. Um, I was trying to see. I don't know who did the... Uh, the story in here. I don't know if it has credits. It looks like... I'm not sure. Someone trying to do Kirby, maybe. Could possibly be Sal Buscema, but I'm not sure. I'll look into that later. Uh, this is Captain America Guardian of Freedom, number one. Uh, I don't know if this was just some random Captain America book they did. S speaking of Kirby, the Kirby variant for Captain America number two. <laughs> Captain America on the moon there. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Didn't have that book. Very happy to get this. Captain America number one, Joe Jusco variant. Joe Jesco's a good buddy of mine, so I'll definitely get him to sign that next time I see him. Marvel Spotlight, Captain America Remembered. This is from when Captain America died in the comics. Marvel Spotlight, Civil War Aftermath. These books are kind of hard to find in good shape, those Marvel Spotlights. Civil War number one. Civil War number six. Daredevil number 10. This is the Bring on the Bad Guys variant. Daredevil number 20. Daredevil number 6. This is the Bill Sienkiewicz Electra cover. A lot of people love this cover. Daredevil number 25. This is the Mini Armors of Iron Man variant. Boy, they were just doing variants for anything they could think of, weren't they? It's a cool cover, though. Okay, hang on. We put these aside and go on to the next thing. Okay. So we got Despicable Deadpool number 300. <laughs> Look at this cover. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's like every Deadpool that they've ever done on the cover. Um, Cable and Deadpool number one. I'm pretty sure this is worth some money, but I could be wrong. Cable and Deadpool number one, Rob Liefeld cover. It may not be what I'm thinking of. That book's got a little bit of wear on it, too, on the cover. Deadpool number one, uh, I don't... Is this Scott Koblish who did this cover? can't tell. Deadpool number one. Exiles number one. A couple of those. Electra number one. Greg Horn. Electra number 24 which I believe that is Bill Sienkiewicz. This is definitely Bill Sienkiewicz. Man, I should just make this a poster and hang it in my house because it says The Mark on it. But look at that, Bill Sienkiewicz, just a beautiful electric cover. And that is number 23, 23. Always liked this book. This is Fantastic Four 358. It's got the die cut cover there. If you open it up, you can see all the artwork. It's one of those books that's not really worth anything, but I, I always thought it was kind of a cool book. Fantastic Four, number 394. This is polybagged and includes, what is this? 
get a piece of the action, Marvel Action Hour. Oh, it includes a uh, Marvel Action Hour. I guess that's an insert comic or something. I, I didn't have it, so. Fantastic Four 292. I, I had to get this because it's John Byrne and it's got Hitler on the cover. Like, what, I, I'm assuming this is, Hitler is... Nick Fury is going to kill Adolf Hitler, and we've got to stop him. Or do we? I don't know of many Marvel comics that have Hitler on the cover. <laughs> Other than Captain America comics, number one. But that's technically timely. Uh, Fantastic Four Unlimited, number one. I believe this is illustrated by my buddy Herb Trimpey. God rest his soul. I miss you, Herb. Fantastic Four, number one. This is the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do they call this? Is it a venomized variant? I don't know. They've got like venom tongues, but I don't know if that's what... I don't know if that's specifically venom. Fantastic Four number one, the Mark Brooks variant. Got a couple of those. Yeah, see, I gotta separate this stuff out. Like, put these Mark Brooks with all my other Mark Brooks covers... Uh, Fantastic Four number one. I don't know who did this variant. But it was one that I did not have. Always happy when I can get some classic G.I. Joes for a quarter apiece. So very happy to get these. Hang on one second. Let me just get this in order here. Okay. G.I. Joe Special Missions, number one. This awesome Mike Zek cover. God, I'm 32 minutes in and I'm not even halfway through the second box. I'm going to try to go faster, guys. G.I. Joe Special Missions, number two. G.I. Joe Special Missions, number three. Illuminati, number one. I think that's kind of a hot book right now. Illuminati number one. This is a variant, I guess. Or no, wait a minute. Yeah. Variant cover. Is this is this the same book? I think it is. Yeah. I guess it's just a variant cover. I don't think I've ever seen this cover. Except for when I plucked it out of the box. Punisher Summer Special number two. Just dig this Simon Bisley. Punisher cover. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Happy to get this. This is the Punisher number one. This is the first Tim Bradstreet Punisher cover, but this is a variant. Um, if you guys remember on the original cover, there's a there's a kind of a dark brown background. This was a one in ten, I think, one in ten variant that they did with the white background. So that's kind of cool to get for a quarter. The Punisher number 36, uh, I believe this is the second or third appearance of Barracuda. Um, I don't know if I have the first appearance of Barracuda, which is now kind of a hot book. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number one uh, variant cover, the Ant-Man variant, I guess. This book's a first appearance of something, isn't it? I think it is, but I can't remember what the first appearance is. Amazing Spider-Man special number one variant cover by Adam Kubert. I've never seen this book. I don't know what... I, I'm not even sure what this book is. I'll have to look it up. Amazing Spider-Man number 40. Just a cool John Romita Jr. Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man number 17. <laughs> I just had to get this because it's the... What the duck... Um, Howard the Duck cover. Pretty funny stuff. Um, okay, let's get to... Getting into some good stuff here. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 14. I picked this up because it's got the Ghostbusters parody on the cover. And it's a book I didn't have. 
a lot of these are books that like I don't remember ever seeing before. Now this I remember seeing. This is Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 24, part of the whole, uh, what do you call it? Um, what was that storyline? Not One More Day, but I, I don't remember, but there was like a whole series of these books with these types of covers on them. Sensational Spider-Man number 41. Yeah, see, like this is, oh, it is One More Day, isn't it? because it's down here at the bottom. Spectacular Spider-Man 225. I just picked it up because it's got this hologram disc thing on the cover. I don't know if you can see what you're supposed to be able to see in there. Yeah, that's really hard to capture. I think it's the Hobgoblin or the Green Goblin on his glider. Spider-Girl number 50. Spider-Man Aranya, number one, one shot. Spider-Man Noir, number one. Got a couple of those. Venom, number 155, uh, Lethal Protector, part one, storyline. Venom number 32 from the Donny Cates run. Venom number 31. Astonishing X Men number 13 from the second Astonishing X Men number, seri uh, number series. Uh, second Astonishing X-Men series. I just bought it because it's got this cool Dazzler cover. Uh, this is X-Men number... Oh, man. I can't remember the number. Number... Oh, my God. I can't see anything. It looks like... 325 maybe it's a wraparound cover Joe Matarera artwork anniversary issue I think that book's worth a little bit of money X-Men Unlimited number 46 I just grabbed this because it had an awesome Dave Finch cover Wolverine had never seen it before okay stuff out of here. Alright, my this box is not playing along with me. Okay. Astonishing X-Men number 10. Uh, this is first appearance of Sword, I think. I think. I know this book is hot because of WandaVision, but I can't remember if that's what this is. There's two different covers to this. There's a second cover that has the face much bigger on the cover. Anyway, I know that's a hot book. Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, custom edition number one. I don't know what this book is. I, it's some kind of promo that they handed out. Oh, you know what? It says down here it's a Kellogg's promo. They're great. Anyway, how often do you see those in good condition? I think there's a couple of them in there, too. Okay, so put that back in there. This is uh, Uncanny X-Men Special number one, Mark Brooks variant cover. Or I don't know if this is just a regular cover. No, it says variant. Variant edition. I don't recall seeing that book before. X-Men 75 from the uh, Jim Lee X-Men run, giant size special. Obviously not Jim Lee artwork, but Extinction Agenda number two. Um, it's kind of weird how they made this cover because it's got the space for the price, but there's no price there. But the price is down here. But it's just weird that they made that empty box there. I don't know why they did that. Uh, X-Men number 36. Another... 
uh, Phalanx Covenant. I think there's some significance to this book, but I can't remember what it is, if it's like a first appearance or something. Nighthawk, number one. I love that TV Denny's. Uncanny X-Men, number one. This is the Dave Cockrum variant. I can't remember if this is like a hidden gem variant or something. There, I got two of them. Um, I need to look that up. Because I know some of those, like when they do the older creator covers, that they're like hidden gem variants. Force Works, number one. This book's got a weird, funky, like, fold-out. Uh, back when they were doing all these gimmick variant covers, it, I think it folds out, but I can't remember how. It's been a while since I've looked at it. X-Factor number uh, 15. This is a book I always pick up when I see it. It's kind of the the death of Angel before he becomes Archangel. This is a book a lot of people don't know about. This is Marvel Age number 129. It just features a cool Adam Hughes cover with the Avengers. Sort of an early Adam Hughes. But yeah, nice cover. This co this this copy is kind of beat up. It's like folded. The back cover is George Perez. You can see it's got a fold crease there. But that Adam Hughes cover makes it worth grabbing. Marvel Fanfare number 41 featuring Doctor Strange. I just thought it was a cool... Uh, a cool book. Who did this? Is this Dan, Dave? Oh god, I can't read. The lighting is so bad here. What does that say? Dan something? Dan Simons? Tony Simons? Salmons? I don't know. Marvel Age number 70. I just picked this up because it's got a really cool Walt Simonson Fantastic Four cover, and I believe it has a Walt Simonson interview, and this copy is perfect. So, nice Marvel Age. Uh, this is Spider-Man and Venom Double Trouble, the Art Adams Connecting variant cover. Got a couple of those. Secret Wars number 5. This is a Black Panther variant, which I thought was really nice. Actually grabbed a couple of those. Um, get the next batch of books here. Okay. Oh, it's another Alex Ross Avengers, Alex Ross variant cover. Marvel's 25th anniversary variant. I need to put that with the other one. Oh, here's another one. Thor, Marvel's 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary variant. Another Marvel Age for you. Thanos Quest. You got a Ron Lim, Thanos, and Silver Surfer cover on that issue. I got a couple of those, actually. There was two of them there. Um, that's a nice book to have if you collect the Ron Lim, Silver Surfer issues. Silver Surfer number 16, I believe this has some kind of a key appearance in it. What is it? Is it the Eternals? No, it's not that. I'll have to look it up. Doom War number 1, Women of Marvel Storm variant. Never seen that before. Nice white cover, too. Um, this is... Another, I guess, I th Young Guns variant for Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality number one. Russell Dowderman. It's called a Symbiote Swap variant. This is Original Sin number seven uh, variant cover. Standoff number one alpha this is i believe uh like a secret store variant or something thirty nine ninety nine got it for a quarter um cloak and dagger number nineteen I need to put these in some kind of alphabetical order. I just haven't had time to do that yet. Juggernaut, one shot. 
I was not familiar with this. I've seen there is a Juggernaut, I think like a mini series or something, but I, I was not familiar with that one shot. Inner Demons Tales of the Marvels. Um, I believe this is, I guess this is number one, or maybe it was a one shot, but it's got this cool like uh, acetate cover, kind of like Marvel's number one. Uh, Avengers, the Ultron Imperative. I, I don't know if this is a reprint or what this is, but it's got this cool Barry Windsor Smith cover on it. The New Mutants, number 22. Is this a key issue? I think it is. I can't remember. Beautiful cover by Bill Sienkiewicz. New Mutants, number 60. Death of Warlock, maybe? I think it is. It's so hard to remember what some of the events are in these books. Marvel Premiere, number 38. Uh, this featuring Weird World. Is this the first Weird World? I can't remember if it is or not. Uh, Strange Tales featuring the Gollum. Uh, Strange Tales number 177. Just a cool, kind of classic Marvel book. Frank Brunner cover. This I was happy to get because I think this is kind of a key issue. This is Marvel Spotlight on Dragon Lord uh, number 5. I, I know that they did a reprint of this book. Like they did a facsimile reprint of this book. So I'm assuming this is a bit of a key issue, but I need to look it up and see. Kid Colt, Gunslinger, Apache Kid. Uh, this is Kid Colt, Western Gunfighters 21, featuring Kid Colt, Gunslinger, and Apache Kid. The Great Train Robbery. God, these books. Just work with me, will ya? I'm trying to get through stuff here, and you're giving me a hard time. It's driving me crazy. All right, Incredible Hulk 270. Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda, number one. This is the uh, Lineal Francis Yu, I believe, cover. Got a couple of those. This was a book I don't remember seeing. This is Ghost Rider, uh, Mother of Demons. Number one. Cool cover. Red Goblin. Red Death. Number one. This is a Joe Casada variant cover. I don't know if it's like a rare variant or an even variant. But it was in there and it looked cool so I grabbed it. Um, Ms. Marvel number 14. Greg Horn. Featuring Ms. Marvel versus uh, Spider Woman. Or Spider, yeah, Spider Woman, I guess. Giant Size Ms. Marvel number one. I believe this is a key issue. I think this is the first appearance of the Flurkin. I'm pretty sure. I think there is some argument about what really is the first appearance of the Flurkin. Uh, or maybe it's one of them is first Goose, and one of them is the first appearance of a Flurkin, I think. Cosmic Ghost Rider number two. Just love that cover. Okay. Cable number 98. I think I just got this because I thought it was a cool cover. Almost looks like a Vertigo book or something. Uh, Marvel Unlimited featuring Daredevil. This was a Marvel Knights, I guess, one shot. There's no number on it, and or is there? No, there's no number on it. David Mack cover. Original Sin number two, Art Adams connecting variant. Original Sin, number seven. 
Art Adams connecting variant. Angela. Angela! Who's the boss, Angela? Hey, Angela! The original sin number four. Art Adams connecting variant. Anybody watch Who's the Boss? Just me. Hey, Angela! Jonathan! Hey, Jonathan! Come here! Uh, this is uh, original sin number one variant. Art Adams variant with magic. Awesome variant. These are all connecting variants. I have a lot of those, but I don't know if I have those because I know I'm missing a couple. This is Excalibur Special Edition by Walt Simonson. Robocop number one from Marvel. X Factor number 25, the Messiah Complex, Dave Finch cover. New X-Men number 44, part of the Messiah Complex, Dave Finch cover. X Factor number 26 of the part of the Messiah Complex, Dave Finch cover. New X Men number 45, also part of the Messiah Complex, Dave Finch cover. Tales from the Age of Apocalypse. I guess this is a reprint from the Age of Apocalypse books that they did for X-Men. It's kind of a deluxe format book. I, I didn't have it, so I just grabbed it. Impossible Man number one, <laughs> Summer Vacation Spectacular. It's just a fun deluxe format book, thick book, and this copy is in perfect shape. Probably not worth anything, but oh well. It's fun. Sometimes I don't need books to be worth something just to pick them up. Iron Fist number one uh, from the Ed Brisson run. Now this I'm pretty sure is something. This is Doctor Strange number 389. I think this is the first appearance of somebody, but I can't remember who. This is Donny Cates writing. This I know is something. This is Doctor Cates 385. I think this is the first... Or maybe that other issue is the first Bats the Dog, maybe. Inhumans, number one. This features a photo cover variant from the failed Inhumans TV show, but... Lockjaw, he's so cute. He's so cute. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Getting a little loopy here. Secret War... <laughs> Part 5 of 5, just a really cool Daredevil cover with that foil Secret War logo. Howard the Duck Holiday Special number 1. I think my friend Jaime Mendoza inked this. Yes, he did. I seem to remember watching him ink that. Invisible Woman number 1, Adam Hughes cover. We are almost done with this box. <laughs> And, uh, okay, Mutant X number one, this is, uh, this was the variant cover. I think it's like one in five. Marvel Age number 66, uh, this, uh, it's like an all Doctor Strange issue. Pretty cool cover. Thunderstrike presents the sensational She-Hulk versus Titania in grudge match. So it's Thunderstrike number 16. Siege number one variant cover. This is a $13.99 variant. Legendary Star-Lord number six. This is the Hastings variant cover. Never seen this book before. Pretty cool. And Hastings are gone, so not like you can get that anymore. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Ron Lim Dark Hawk cover. Guardians of the Galaxy number 15. Variant cover. This is uh, Art Adams. I guess sketch variant. I don't know if it's a second printing or not. I guess I could look. It just says variant edition. 
Uh, I can't remember. It's the, the, the UPC is a little hard to see. Devil Dinosaur number one from June of 1997. Uh, and this is interesting because this features Moon Boy. I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This is Moon Boy and Devil Dinosaur. Uh, just an interesting kind of, well, I guess this is a one shot. Yeah, 48 page Spring Fling special from 1997. I picked these up because I didn't, I don't think I have any of these. I have almost all of these Secret Empire tie-in books. This is a Secret Empire Spotlight uh, that I guess came out in advance to the books. I think it was just a freebie that they gave away at comic shops. But it's got a Mark Brooks cover on it, and so I went ahead and grabbed it. Probably not worth anything, but, you know, I get anything that Mark Brooks does covers for, so... Uh, Machine Man, number one, Barry Windsor Smith artwork. Infinity Entity, number one, variant cover. You know, we're almost at an hour here, so I think I'm going to end this at the end of the stack. Dr. Voodoo, number one. Very cool. Thanos, number one. Got several of those. Um, <laughs> this is a book that I've shown before, but I was happy to get a couple more copies. What If Infinity, Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Rocket Raccoon facing off with Thanos there. Really cool cover. Ant-Man, number one. This is the, I guess, the movie variant cover. Um, and this is another, as you can see, $10 variant, which I uh, got for a quarter. And then lastly in this box, Squadron Supreme New World Order. Uh, this is just a deluxe book that uh, I didn't have. So, big, thick deluxe book. Wow. Okay, guys, that's two, that's two and a half boxes. I think I'm going to stop there on this video, and I will continue with um the last marvel box and uh then my independent box i'll do a separate video with those two and then i will finish <laughs> i can't believe this is going to be a three-part thing i'll finish with dc um dc is two short boxes all dc so i don't know what do you think should i just go ahead and do should I just go ahead and do the third box? Tell, tell me, guys. Scream it at me. Let me see if I can hear you through the phone. Not that I'm doing this live or anything, but... Tell me what you're thinking. Should I just go ahead and do the third box? I mean, if you've made it this far in the journey, perhaps you'd be willing to go just a little bit further. I'm getting the feeling that you guys want me to go ahead. Let's see if we can do this quick. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay. Box number three. Here we go. I'll see if I can get through this quick. I promise, guys. I'll do the best I can to get through this quick. Okay. Let me just move some of this stuff around here. Whew. Okay, I've shown this book before. For anyone that doesn't know about this book, this is Avengers number 36. I'm sorry, 35. Um, and this book is the first appearance of Sam Wilson as Captain America. It predates Captain America 25 by a month. And he's right there on the cover holding the shield and everything. That is Sam Wilson as Captain America. I pushed this book in a couple of Facebook groups. People argued with me, and now it's actually going for a little more money on eBay because people are finally realizing I was right. I'm not going to sit here and single-handedly take credit for it, but if you can find this book, 
I would grab it. It's worth about 10 bucks. Um, because it is just mainly a cover appearance and not like an interior appearance. That's the one thing that's holding it back. But still, kind of key, sort of a key thing there. Oh my god, more of these? Uh, Doctor Strange <laughs> number one action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher. Um, got a couple of those. four of those. I don't know why. Uh, Quasar number nine. I picked this up because I think I think this is the first appearance of not Modoc, Modam. So I'm guessing the female Modoc first appearance, I guess. I don't know if Modam appeared anywhere else. Quasar. Quasar was not a highly ordered book. Quasar number 15, uh, I picked this up because it's a Mike Mignola cover, and I never, I've never, i never had this book. I don't even know if I've ever seen that book. Quasar number 28, uh, who will be her mate? That's, uh, you know, her right there. Mockingbird number one. This book was kind of hot for a while. I think it's died off a little bit, but... And then this is Mockingbird number one, the John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. Um, what do we got here? Logan Shadow Society. Deluxe, Deluxe X-Men book. Kind of a thick book. X-Men, the movie prequel, Wolverine. I just grabbed this in the event that I ever meet Hugh Jackman. I wanted to have, like, the perfect book for him to sign. And, hey, photo cover with Hugh Jackman. Can't beat that. Wolverine, number 11. Wolverine, number 12. Awesome Kevin Nolan covers. Okay, are we doing okay? Are we making good time? I think we are. I hope we are. Did I say... Yeah, number 12. Okay, so this is Wolverine number 13. Wolverine number 42. First print. Wolverine number 41. I think this is a second print because it's got the gold logo. Wolverine number 55. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Gambit's in there. Wolverine number 56. I used to have all these and for whatever reason I got rid of them. Wolverine number 80. You guys know what this is, right? First Weapon X in a vial. This copy's kind of beat up. Every time I find that book, every time I find Wolverine 80, it is beat up. I guess everybody's like grabbing it and flipping through it to see what the big deal is about Weapon X. Wolverine 82, always love this cover. Just a really cool atmospheric cover. Wolverine number 167 featuring a Barry Windsor Smith cover that I'm betting Barry Windsor Smith did not authorize them to use. <laughs> this is probably like something he did in inventory and they just put it on a cover. Wolverine Hulk number one by Sam Keith. You know, Sam, you couldn't have done a better cover than that. I mean, I like Sam Keith, but come on. Wolverine Origins number 50. This is the series finale. You know what I tell you guys about picking up last issues. And this is definitely a cool cover. Look at that cover. Dokken Dark Wolverine number one. Is this a variant? No, it's just a regular cover. Savage Wolverine number eight. With uh, Electro on the cover there. I almost left these behind. And uh, I'm kind of glad I grabbed them. 
actually went back after seeing them, putting them back, and then I went back and grabbed them. Because at a quarter apiece, I can't say no. So this is Ultimate Spider-Man number three. Ultimate Spider-Man number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Ultimate Spider-Man number ten. These early issues of Ultimate Spider-Man actually do go for a little bit of money. Ultimate Spider-Man number 11. Ultimate Spider-Man number 12. Ultimate Spider-Man number 13. Ultimate Spider-Man number 14. Ultimate Spider-Man number 22. Uh, is this, or is it this issue? Number, maybe it's this issue, 34. One of these is the first Ultimate Venom. I think it's that one, yeah. Because then the, that's 34 and then this is 35. With Ultimate Venom on the cover. That's a good book to have. Ultimate Spider-Man 46. There's some kind of key in this, but I can't think of what it is. First, like, uh, first of a supporting character, but I can't think of what the character is. Or in one of these, I, I don't remember which one. Uh, first, Ultimate Spider-Man 79. I think this is first Ultimate Moon Knight, if I'm not mistaken. There he is, Ultimate Moon Knight. But I think this first appearance is the book before it. Ultimate Spider-Man number 111, which I think is the last Mark Bagley issue. Anyway, some of those are worth some money, and I almost put them back. And Well, actually, I did put them back, and then I went back and got them. I don't know if somebody had already picked out some even better ones, but I was surprised that those were still in there. Star Wars Cassian and K2SO Rogue One number one. So as you guys probably know, there is a Cassian Andor series on the way at Disney+. Plus. So this may end up being a good book to have. I cannot imagine there's just a ton of them out there. This is Star Wars Poe Dameron number one design variant, and I want to show you guys... Where is it? See that? $69.99. A quarter for me. Poe Dameron number one. Just a variant. I got multiples of those. I don't know why. I, I guess... Oh, it's a Hastings variant. Sorry. This is a Hastings variant. That's why I got grabbed the multiples of those. Um, Star Wars Screaming Citadel number one uh, this is I guess just a regular cover Star Wars Annual number one as you can see I got several of those um, that's one I was going to use for like giving away at my show Hang on, let me put these in here. Star Wars Princess Leia, number one. This is the John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. Beautiful Carrie Fisher there. Classic Star Wars, number one from uh, Dark Horse. Reprints, I think the classic Star Wars newspaper strips. That was issue one. Okay. Captain America, all new Captain America Fear Him, number one, with Sam Wilson as Captain America. Captain America, number one, all new Captain America special, number one, variant cover. God, I love this cover. I've shown this off in other halls because I picked it up and I paid full price for it, so it was nice to get a couple and a quarter. All new Captain America, number two. 
for a quarter. Why not? Got a couple of those. Uh, Falcon, number one. Um, probably not a bad book to have. As you can see, I got several of those. Hmm. Okay. Generations, number one. This is Hawkeye and Hawkeye. So it's old school Hawkeye and Kate Bishop Hawkeye. Got several of those. Generations, number one. Totally Awesome Hulk and Banner Hulk. Generations, number one. Captain Marvel and Captain Marvel. Generations number one Sam Wilson, Captain America, Steve Rogers, Captain America, John Cassidy cover. Um, got several of those. Here's another Generations number one Hawkeye and Hawkeye. Just waiting on that Hawkeye series to come out. Generations number one. Okay, so this is interesting. This is Generations number one, the Mighty Thor and the Unworthy Thor. Uh, this is a GameStop exclusive. And it's polybagged for some reason. I guess I need to take this out and, and look at it. It's kind of hard to see. But there's Jane Foster Thor, regular Thor, and Deadpool for some reason. I guess that's the GameStop angle but yeah interesting secret wars number one uh this i believe is like a one in ten or one in five variant by amanda connor i'm pretty sure it was a, a chase variant and i got several of those I'm actually getting through these quicker than I thought because some of them I've just got multiples. This is Hulk number one featuring the gray She-Hulk. Several of those. Come on, box, work with me. Captain America 700. Got a few of those. Captain America 700, this is the Venom variant cover, 30 years of Venom. Web of Spider-Man number 6, Web of Spider-Man number 10, okay now we're almost done, getting close once I get through these, another number 10, Web of Spider-Man number 15. I just grabbed these because, you know, they're older Marvel books. They're probably not really worth anything, but Web of Spider-Man number 17, Return of the Red Suit. Or, no, I'm sorry, The End of the Red Suit. Uh, Web of Spider-Man Web of Spider-Man number 42. I just thought this was a really beautiful cover by Alex Saviak and John Romita Sr. I believe John Romita Sr. inked it. Web of Spider-Man 47. Web of Spider-Man number 49. Charles Vest cover. Val Merrick interior. I believe it's the only issue that Val Merrick worked on. Web of Spider-Man number 62. Nice black cover. Featuring Molten Man. Web of Spider-Man number 71. Web of Spider-Man number 86. Spidey fights two hobgoblins. Web of Spider-Man number 93. Featuring Moon Knight. 
Web of Spider-Man 94, always one of my favorite covers by Alex Saviak. Web of Spider-Man number 113. This issue is actually polybagged. Uh, here is another copy. Uh, some sort of weird work in progress thing on the back. I'm not sure what that is. And then this is a, I guess, a newsstand version of Weapon Spider-Man 113, not polybagged. Never seen that one before. Never seen the newsstand of that one before. I've had the polybag version. Web of Spider-Man 117. This is one of those, like, flip covers, I think. Yeah, see? That's the flip cover. Almost done. Web of Spider-Man 126, The Trial of Peter Parker, Part 1. Web of Spider-Man Annual 8. And why did I get this? I got it for one reason and one reason only. It's got a Venom story. And if I'm not mistaken, one of these... Let me see if it's this one. It's not that one. Okay. There is an annual that Todd McFarlane did a story in and a lot of people kind of overlook it and I think it has Venom in it but the, but the story he did does not have Venom in it I think I need to go back and look that up 2090, uh, 2099 World of Tomorrow issue 1 2099 Unlimited number 1 2099 AD Genesis Featuring a chromium cover. 2099 AD, number one, Joe Casada, chromium cover. And 2099 World of Doom special. This is Greg and Tim and Greg Hildebrandt. I think I've shown one of those off in a hall before. But hey, happy to get one for a quarter. And then last but not least. X-Men 2099 Special Oasis, illustrated by Greg and Tim Hildebrandt. And this is a deluxe format, thick book. Okay, guys, there it is. Three and a half boxes from this mega haul that I got from Collected. Uh, I will post part two after I post this, if you made it through this, an hour and 20 minutes long, my God, you're a trooper. Um, anyway, I just want to say a huge thanks to Ron at Collected for uh, letting me know about the sale and putting up with me for several hours. This was <sighs> the whole thing together. I think it was accumulated. It was like eight hours total of me looking through boxes. Uh, I came by at the end of the day on Saturday, and then I came back on Sunday, and I filled six and a half boxes. So, my God. Um, and all of these were a quarter apiece. Can't beat that. So, anyway, um, I will show you guys the second half of this haul, which is DC and Independent, and that'll be in a different video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope that <laughs> some of it was entertaining. Um, like I said, this is probably the biggest bargain book haul I've ever had. And this is just part one. So part two is on the way. Be on the lookout for it. Um, if you guys did stick around this long, I really appreciate it. I don't know why you would, but oh well. Uh, hopefully it was somewhat entertaining. So... If you want to find out more about me, check out bigfanboy.com, uh, celebrating 16 years of being the longest running movie news website on the web, on, on, from Dallas. Uh, and uh, also check out dallascomicshow.com. Dallas Comic Show is coming back on June 26th uh, at the Music City Mall in Louisville. And dallascomicshow.com for more info on that. We got some really cool people coming to that. Um, and then also check out my movie news or movie review podcast, Big Film Show. That's at bigfilmshow.com. 
And uh, just uh, thanks to everybody out there for watching, leaving comments on my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, shout outs to uh, Comic Crypt Castle Hills, Spidey Fan, Fred Hall Direct Edition, Mr. Rigor Mortis 86. Uh, you know, all these great guys out there. Tito, make some more videos, for God's sakes. Um, you're the reason I got into this in the first place. I'll see you guys next time. Look for part two.